and that's how you make stew peas and you just serve it with plain white rice. <music>this is my most favorite dish to cook in the whole world if i was stuck on a desert island and i could only have one dish this is the dish that i would have i love this dish so much so it's called stew peas and rice traditionally it's um, served with plain white rice i when i make it these days tend to use whole grain rice but for today we're just going to use white rice now it's called stew peas but in the uk these are called kidney beans but in the in jamaica where the dish is from they're called peas also in the dish we need a couple of sprigs of thyme, fresh thyme is preferred. If you can't then use the best that you can get but fresh thyme gives it a nicer flavour. Scotch bonnet pepper, now I'm not an advocate of fire so we're not going to cut these open and burn my mouth because I don't like fiery food but if you put this into the dish towards the end without opening it you'll get the flavour but you won't get the pepper and you don't, as long as you don't leave it in for too long. One medium carrot two sprigs of spring onion or scallion they call them in some countries one cup of fresh coconut milk one cup of water now this is for our spinners one cup of water one cup of flour and we also need about five pimento seeds and one to two tablespoons of seasonal now seasonal some brands can be quite salty so you have to be a bit careful so i'd add one tablespoon first taste it and then the second one to make sure. Now, to make the dish we're going to boil the kidney beans until they're really soft. Now how you check if they're soft is you can poke it with a knife, like I'm doing so, but to really test if it's really soft and cooked, when you press it and open it like this it should be like mashed potato inside basically. What you need to do is take out half of the peas that are in the pot kidney beans. So you're going to take out half because this is how we're going to thicken the recipe because it's quite thin the mixture when you just cook it to start with and all you're going to do is crush them like this to get as many of them crushed as possible and then when you let it cook for a little bit then you will see that it starts to thicken and then you get that nice rich consistency that we know and love with this dish. So while it's leaving it there to thicken, we're going to add the other ingredients. We're going to add one to two sprigs of thyme. Just drop those in here. We're going to put this in, but we're going to put it in later. And we're going to add our carrots. So for the carrots, we're just going to chop it finely and just put that into the mixture. It gives it some nice color because it's just kind of a brown color otherwise. And we're going to do our spring onions or scallion, depending on where you are in the world, is what you'll call it, and add that to the mixture as well. So just put all of it in like so. Oop, we lost a little bit, but that's okay. And we give it a stir. We're going to need some more water in this, I think. Turn up the heat on this. We're going to add our pimento seeds. Now how, how I do it, there isn't a right or wrong way, so long as you get them crushed, is I just put five seeds into some kitchen towel like this. It doesn't have to be exactly five, but you don't want to put too much because then it will ruin the flavour of the dish. So I just roll it over like this. Just apply pressure, just light pressure. And then when you open it, there you have it. They're all crushed. And then you just drop it into your mixture. And it gives it a nice flavor, but again, don't put too much in. I've done that before in the past and it ruins the whole thing. It will not taste good. And then your one to two tablespoons of seasonal. That really lifts the whole dish. We put in our coconut milk and that's our transforming ingredient the main ingredient that lifts the whole thing and gives it that lovely coconut laced taste. I call it coconut laced because it's got a lot of coconut in it. So what we're going to do now is make our dumplings. So what we do first of all need is some flour, plain flour it has to be, not self-raising, just plain flour. 
and then we're going to add some water because we're just going to make a little, a small amount of dough. So to mix it together. So now I'm going to use my hands. So once the dough comes together like this, you just need one blob like that, so to speak. And then all you do is pull off little pieces like this, roll it in your hand like that, so they look like this, and drop it into the hot mixture. So basically that mixture it goes into is going to boil them because these are kind of like a skinny version of the Jamaican boiled dumplings. And one more. And that's it, add it to our mixture, stir, and it's coming together nicely. Allow it to cook until the dumplings are done and you'll be able to see the difference in the dumpling when they're done. When you test it with a fork, you'll see they're kind of chewy um, in consistency. And that's how you make stew peas and you just serve it with plain white rice.